Uh, nothing. You know what makes me mad? What? The way she's using us. The way she's making you responsible for her decision as to whether to have an abortion or not. So she doesn't have to think about it. In a way, I'd have more respect for her if she was just brave enough to go off and do it, and that's that. I don't think Tracy's that interested in gaining our respect. Mm. No, she just wants your money. I should tell her that I can't possibly agree to her demands. You should have told her that last night. Yes, I should. She could be on her way to the clinic right now. She wouldn't. She'll want your answer first. She won't do anything until she knows what you want to do. What are you looking at? Oh, you're up early. Am I? Well, just shows you can be if you want to. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> you don't exactly make a habit of getting up before nine. <sighs> Tracy, I'm worried about you. You've got no job, no relationship, no direction in life. Three-time loser, then. Is that it? I didn't say that. I look at you and I see a bright, attractive, intelligent young woman. You could do anything you wanted to. I always do what I want. Yeah, I've noticed. I just wish you wanted a bit more than a big breakfast in another day in front of the tally. I've got plans today. Could be interesting. Really? What kind of plans? I'm not sure yet. What? Well, um, is it a job interview? Well, sort of. I don't want to jinx it. No, 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 OK. Well, it's only temporary, but, um, it could be quite lucrative. Oh, well, good luck. Hope it all works out for you. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, you yeah, well, so am I. Bye. What are you doing? It's going to be here in ten minutes. Not coming. What? We just scrubbed the whole house. He went to see a house in Queen's Crescent. He loved it. He's put an offer in. Well, what's he gone and done that for? He's not even seen this house yet. I mean, this house could be ten times better than the one in Queen's Crescent. I think we're going to have to let that house go up there. Oh, Norman, that house is perfect. I know, but if we can't sell this, we can't buy that one. Yeah, but you love that house. Well, there'll be other houses. Maybe we should think about renting. Mm. I, actually, I met a WPC last week who's got a flat to rent, two bedroom next to a park. He never mentioned. Well, I didn't think we need it. Have you got a number? Give her a ring. i say what? say that we want to rent her apartment when we're ready to move in as soon as possible. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. I couldn't find Vera. Sarah's going to cover for the day. On her own? Oh, she's going to stick to sandwiches and balm. She's very resourceful. I imagine she's had to be. Right, what are we going to do? This is your decision, Roy. This is your baby. I'm not prepared to be blackmailed. You have a right to be a part of any decision about that child's future without having to pay for the privilege. I keep asking myself what kind of future I can offer a child. It's one thing if Tracy was prepared to raise it herself, then I could offer support. Financial if necessary, but also emotional and practical. But Tracy doesn't want a child at all. So, even if she dropped her demands for money, I'm left facing the reality of bringing a child up on my own. And running a business. I'm not sure I can do that. I'm not sure it's fair on the child. I'd help you. I couldn't ask you to do that. You're not asking me. I'm offering. I'm not saying that things can ever be the same as they were between us. Not after everything that's happened. You can't wipe away all the hurt and betrayal. Oh, I'm not exactly even sure what I'm saying here. But from a practical point of view, if we can persuade Tracy, then I'll stay. And we'll raise the baby together. Cheers for the driver! Hey Pip! Hey! Hey Pip! Hey! Hey Pip! Hey! And you owe me £17.50 in petrol money. I know. Hey, fancy your brew? Oh yeah, go on then. Right, well you nip to the shop and get some milk and tea bags and I'll put the kettle on. There you are! Hey! I thought I heard voices. Les, you're out. You've not escaped, have you? Don't be daft. I'm out on licence. I'm tagged. 
Oh, I feel terrible. I never phoned or nothing. Oh, I sent a postcard to the prison. Do you think they'll forward it? Don't you talk to me about cards. It's my birthday today. I got one card, and that was from our Toya. It's your birthday? Hey, happy birthday, Les. Have you got any milk and tea bags? Why do you fancy a brew? Oh, I'd love one. Well, come on in, boys, and I'll tell you all about the miserable life of Leslie Battersby. Hey, have you got any toast and jam and that? Have a nice day. Good manners. Mm, cost nothing but sends the customer out with a smile on their face. Right, you want to discuss hours over the weekend? I'll need to talk to Sarah. I might have to find someone to look after Bethany. Mm. Man with family responsibilities, that's, um... That's nice, listen. Might help. Wages. Norris said I'd find you here. Oh, is there a problem? You, you haven't had second thoughts. No, not exactly. No, I just wanted to thank you for talking to me. You were there when I needed you, and I really appreciate it. You're welcome. I take it you've spoken to Deirdre? No. No, I don't want to worry her. Especially now it's pretty much sorted, or rather it will be by the end of the day. No, I was just hoping I could forget this whole thing. If that's what you want. Oh, thanks, I do. Thanks, Auntie Emily. Problem? No. I was just working out how much of this will go on rent. We can always up the hours if you want. I'll need to talk to Sarah. Ah, oh, not buying today, Trace. <laughs> You've nothing I want. Don't know what I ever saw in that woman. You don't know what it's like when you're not around, Mum. Oh, please, I don't even know what you've seen this guy. Mum, yes! You criticise all the guys I go out with all the time. Well, I don't know. You know, I might even go around to Sarah's from the sea because I can't be bothered. Right then, bye. How mad you are. I just wasted your entire coffee break on the phone to you, Mum. Yeah, when Mum's got these new creepy people. Whoa, whoa, stop right there. Do I look the slightest bit interested in your mother's love life? No, I just needed some. Oh, Candice, get a life. You know, I'm jacked in my dad and then ran off with another bloke and wanted to talk to me about it. I'd have to leave the country or something. Seriously. Oi, Mrs. Warren should be done by now. Here you go, Les. What's this? I'll open it and find out. Oh, jeez, Kirk. You don't know what this means to me. It's been like I've been on my own here since I've got out. Me against the world. Yeah, well, now it's you and me against the world. Whoa, look out, world. So what does it mean, the tag thing? What does it do? Does it give you electric shocks? No. Oh, it means I can be in the house by 7 o'clock at night. 7 o'clock? What, and if you're not in by 7, it gives you electric shock? No, they come round and count me back off to jail. Oh, right. So no birthday drinks in the Rovers tonight? It never stops, Kirk. It's like fate keeps discovering new and cruel ways of punishing me. A crime I didn't do. Can I help you? No, thanks. Hey, what if we can't go out tonight? How about we have a birthday drinks by dinner time? Hey, sounds good to me, Kirky lad. I can beg you to Brilliant. You coming? Oh, yeah. But if Betty's not got her hot pot on, I'm off to chip her. So what's going on? Have you made a decision? Do you want this baby or not? First of all, we want to register that we resent the way that you have shifted the moral imperative in this difficult decision to us. I don't know what that means. And frankly, I don't care. All I want to know is, are you going to put your money where your mouth is? No. No? We won't pay. But we will raise the child, we will provide for it, we will offer it all the love and care that we possibly can. You can rely on us to give it a, a good, stable and, and loving home. <gasps> And what about me? Oh, you can see the baby as much as you want. That's up to you. No, I mean, what about me having to do nine months hard labour so you can play happy families? Well, we'll try and be as supportive as we can. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's rewind here. It's me that's carrying this baby, so I set the terms. The price is £20,000. That's the only kind of support I want from you. The price is non-negotiable. Tracy, you know that's impossible. Listen to me. I am not playing games. The appointment at the abortion clinic is booked for three o'clock. If you can come up with a first instalment of five grand by then, we've got a deal, OK? But look, you can't just sell a child like that. Do you think I wanted this to happen? Do you think I'm looking forward to my appointment at the clinic? I've got no choice. I'm carrying this baby, so I've got to do something. You're lucky. You've got a choice, but I am not going to sit around waiting. It's about time you took responsibility for your actions. 
Like I said, five grand by three o'clock, or it's bye bye, baby cropper. <laughs> If it's not illegal, it should be. Oh, you're absolutely right. We know what happened with Wayne. We could end up in another terrible mess. Although, strictly speaking, with Wayne, it, it was blackmail. This is more of a straightforward cash transaction, albeit in instalments. We can't do it. We can't afford it. Well, we probably could afford it at a pinch. I can't believe we're even considering it. I think we would both agree that having a child in our lives would be a good thing. Of course we agree, of course we do. I mean, we'd also agree that to pay Tracy large sums of cash, in, in essence, to buy a child, is, well, not only probably illegal, but in our eyes, certainly wrong. Are you going somewhere with this? I'm not sure. But it seems to me that our dilemma is simple. The money represents a human life. If we pay, then a child is born and brought up by us. And if not, not. And we only have two and a half hours to make a decision. Hypothetically speaking, could we get older £5,000 by three o'clock? I think so, yes. Well, maybe we should check that it's possible while we think what to do. Right, yes. Then at least we are prepared should we decide to act. Yes, gentlemen. Three pints, please, mate. Oh, and a hot pot as quick as you can. Would you like a free bag of nuts? You are. Birthday, look at the birthday tree. You've got regular or dry roasting. Is that what I'm worth to you? A bag of nuts. <laughs> hey, Les, let me buy them for you. You know, to say happy birthday in there. Uh, thanks, Keely, mate, but no thanks. Cos your wife's the breadwinner in your house, isn't she? So by rights, it'd be her buying me them drinks, not you. I'll never forgive her for what she did to me. See yourself, Les. See ya. It's a shame we've not got them party hats. It's not a proper party without paper hats. <laughs> hey, hello, light of my life. Light of my life, nothing. You've not phoned me for two weeks. Me neither. I, I dropped my mobile in the rock pool. I'm sorry, babe. I'll make it up to you, I promise. I brought you a stick of rock. Biggest the ad. Is it pink? Yeah. Well, good, cos I don't like them stripy ones. They're too minty. If we push the overdraft limit on the business account and the current account, we empty the savings account, thus losing a month's interest and incurring a penalty for not giving 30 days' notice, we're likely to be around £500 short. I could ask Mr Baldwin for an advance on my wages. What will you say the money's for? I wouldn't. Well, if he asks, he's bound to ask. I don't know. I'd say it was for a personal matter. I'd ask him to trust me. Look, why don't you go down to the building society, take out our savings, and I'll go and see if I can catch up with Mr Baldwin on his dinner hour. We'll meet back here as soon as we can. So we are going to do this? This isn't just a hypothetical gathering of our finances? I don't know. We could be a family, Haley. Everything's happening so fast. My head says that I'm being about as daft as I could ever imagine. But my instinct says go for it. I'll get down the building society. You better ring a taxi. 17 bus is famously unreliable. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, um, when would we be able to move in? Any time we like. It's empty and ready now. Next week? Uh, would next week be too soon? All right, great. OK, thanks, Sue. Bye. Here you go. Thanks, sorted. The flat's ours as of Monday. Right. We don't have to move everything straight away. Why not? Why wait? Well, I don't know. It's a big move for you. You've lived here for a long time. Yeah, I know. But I'm ready, Emma. I'm really ready. Got the address of the clinic? Yeah, but you don't need to go now. Yeah, well, they like you there early, filling forms and that. No, I mean, we're going to give you the money. You don't need to go now. Have you got it now? No, but we'll get it to you, I promise. Yeah, well, if I've got to wait somewhere, I might as well wait at the clinic, just in case. Three o'clock. OK. Don't be late.
This is for the business account, this is for the current account. You'll find they're both within agreed overdraft limits. How would you like the money, Mr Cropper? Uh, 50s would be fine. And I'd like to close this instant access savings account, as well as the 30-day notice account. I'm aware of the penalty clause in the small print. Would you like to transfer the balance from these accounts into one of the others? Uh, no, thank you. I'd like to take cash now, if that's all right. Well, whenever anyone makes a large withdrawal or a deposit, we normally ask if they want to see one of our specialised account managers. You know, in case you'd like some financial advice. That won't be necessary, thank you. And I am in somewhat of a rush, if you don't mind. I thought you'd gone away. No, my plans have changed. Oh, well, don't bother to tell me I'm just your employer. I'm sorry. The thing is, Mr Baldwin, I'm not going anywhere now. I'm staying here. You left me in the lurch at that factory. I know, and I'm going to make it up to you. Starting Monday, I'll work whenever you like for as many hours as you like. All right, there's no need to go in there. There is something else. What? I need a favour. An mm. advance on your wages. <laughs> Have you ever known me to give anyone an advance on their wages? I wouldn't ask if it weren't important. <sighs> How much do you want? £500. 500 quid? What do you want 500 quid for? I can't tell you, but I could pay you back next week. I just need it now. Well, can't you get it off, Roy? I'm sure he's all right for 500. I can't. And you can't tell me what it's for? No, but it is important. It's always important. No, love, I'm sorry I can't do it. I mean, if I do it for you, I'll have to do it for everyone. I'm sorry. It's OK, I understand. Thanks anyway. Okay. You don't always have any savings, do you? Savings? What's that? You know me, Ailey. Get it, spend it. That's my motto. <laughs> What's up with me, lad? It's his birthday. Just leave him there. Uh, pack for Janice, please, Kieran, and I'll have orange juice. Ready up. And no more for the birthday boy, OK? We normally decide when one of our regulars has had too much to drink. And besides, it's the man's birthday. <laughs> if this pub wants to continue good relations with its local constabulary, then Les Battersby's had his last drink in here today. Do I make myself clear? Crystal clear, constable. I couldn't get anything. I've just got what's in my purse. It's uh, £25.60. Right. With what we've got here, that makes a total of £4,816.47. Less the price of a taxi. It's not enough. And it's half past two. So, we have failed, unless... Unless what? Unless Tracy is prepared to accept the shortfall. You mean we should start haggling over the price? Well, either that or we give up now and I take this back to the building society. Hello. Hi, um, it's Tracy. Tracy Preston. I've got an appointment for three. Oh, here we are. J just a minute. Roy, we need to go. Doing? I'm just going to bank the takings. In fact, I, I gave you two weeks' wages in advance, didn't I? Because we were going away and now we're not. So could I get it back? You want it back? Yes, please. Um, I don't think I've got it all on me. I... So I'll take what you've got and I'll, just, I'll adjust your next pay packet accordingly. Right, we need to go. We'll make it up to you, I promise. <laughs> Hi. Hiya. Hiya. Hi, sweetheart. I don't know. Roy just emptied the till. <laughs> Talk about the money you gave me. Oh, that's great. And I just pretty much handed me old pay packet to beat a barlow for rent. This is daft. I'm gonna pack in school. Are you sure? What's the point? I could be working. Roy says I can do as many hours as I want here. And when Beth starts nursery next week, well, I can practically work full time. I mean, you don't have to convince me. It's just I don't know how your mum's gonna take it. It's not her decision. It's mine. Tracy, we're ready for you now. I'm not sure I'm ready. Would you like to talk to someone? Uh, no, well, not really. Can I have another couple of minutes? Five minutes? It's just it's a big decision. Yeah, of course. That's fine.
You're late. OK, we've got here as quickly as we could. We haven't got all the money. What do you mean you haven't got all the money? That's all we've got. How much is in there? £4,873.50. Is that a joke? Look, we've reached our overdraft limit. We've entered our savings account. We can get you the other £126.50 by Monday, possibly earlier, if we have a good weekend at the cafe. Really? Well, how do I know I can trust you? Oh, wait a minute. How do you know you can trust us? We're about to give you nearly £5,000. We're not guaranteed that we're going to get anything back from you at all. We don't even have any proof that you're pregnant. This could just be a cruel scam to trick us out of our money. All right, all right relax, will you? Look, all I'm saying is there's got to be trust on both sides. Wait there. Hi. I'm really sorry, but I've changed my mind. I'm going to have the baby. OK. All right. OK, what I've decided to do is let you off the balance of the money as a goodwill gesture. I mean, it's reward enough knowing I'm helping a childless couple. When will you be wanting the other 15,000? I think it should be cash on delivery, don't you? Yeah, fine by me. But if it's twins, I want to renegotiate. And one more thing. Let's just keep this our little secret, OK? Congratulations. You're going to be a daddy.